name is Fran Seaford, and I'm here today with another frontage idea. And basically, we're using coffee. So I've got several cups of coffee here, and I'm willing to share. So I hope you'll come and see what I'm doing. And since I personally don't actually drink much coffee, if at all, um, I found a much more fun craft idea to do with it. So your instant coffee grounds and our wonderful little spritz bottles here, I just put in my instant coffee and, and shake it up and I'm ready to do a lot of spritzing. So I've actually raided the office supply cupboard and I found all sorts of interesting little divider cards and even little Rolodex cards and after some coffee spritzing, everything is ready to frontage. So you can see here, this is my spray booth, once a manila folder, now a coffee spray booth. So anyway, we're going to frontage lots of things with coffee. Take one of the spray applicator bottles and let's spoon in, this is some of the instant coffee. We'll put just a bit in to start with and then we'll put in some water. If it's hot water, that will help dissolve it even faster. Shake that up. It is a little bit easier if you're holding your bottle upright. It'll have a little bit less uh, clogging. So that's kind of a light touch. Let's see here how we go. Splatters are good. Let's spritz this one here that has some stamping on it and see how the uh, coffee and the water affect things. It may uh, give us some more patterning. While the paper is still wet is the time to come back in and drizzle in a bit more of the grounds or the instant and let that melt into and dry onto the, the wet areas. spritz a few more things. If you want to do an envelope flap, then isolate just the flap area. We'll let that dry. And do some spritzing on some of your patterned papers as well. Try even this bright paper and see if we can kind of play it back here by doing a bit of coffee. I'm going to do some stamping and spritzing on ribbon. So I'll take my VersaFine in the dark brown, take one of my jumbo designs here, and we'll stamp across this ribbon. Now this is a little bit of a grow grain type texture pattern to it. Okay, now let's see what happens when we do some spritzing on top of the stamping. And we'll do another section without any stamping. We'll let that dry and see how that works. Yeah, take a look here. My spray booth, now that it has dried, is quite interesting in itself. And I'll cut that into segments and do some interesting things with that. And just a couple of pointers here at the end in terms of cleaning up. If your uh, spray bottle gets clogged, take it apart and soak this part in hot water 
with this end in the water, allow it to um, work on the spray until it's clearing and coming out through the top. Then you know you've cleared it and you can use it again and it would be best to store it, uh, clean it up before putting it away for a while. So that will give you lots of fun ideas for your coffee spritzing. Thank you.